Coach Charlie Scanlon never asked his players to do anything he wouldn't do himself, which set the bar pretty high for those athletes. Charlie played 101 games in goal for the Bemidji State men's hockey team, including four shutouts. He helped lead the Beavers to a 1973 NAIA National Championship and NAIA National Runner-Up in 1974. He was a two-time NAIA All-American and selected as one of BSU's 50 legends for 50 years. Coach R.H. Bob Peters remembers that Charlie was always one of those players who would rise to the occasion. The better the opponent, the better he played, says Peters. Charlie never outgrew his love for competition. And when he graduated from Bemidji State, he pursued a career that allowed him to motivate a new generation of athletes to aspire to great heights. Charlie spent 36 years as boys head soccer coach at Apple Valley High School, where his teams claimed nine state titles and won 17 section and 20 conference championships. He retired as head coach in the spring of 2016 with 580 career wins, the most in Minnesota high school soccer history. Every kid growing up in Apple Valley dreamed of playing for him and his program, says John Christensen, who played for and later coached with Charlie. He had his own special way of getting kids to believe in themselves. He was a master motivator. No matter the situation, Charlie always had a strategy and usually a story to illustrate his point. When he needed a well-executed plan, he reminded his players that even Halloween trick-or-treating required a strategy for maximum returns. Charlie also coached the Apple Valley High School girls hockey teams from 1992 to 2010. His teams won 217 games over his 18 years, including two state championships. Michelle Gustafson played ringette for Charlie in middle school before joining his high school hockey team, a sport in its infancy for girls. We had some girls who couldn't even stop on skates, but they were athletic and he made sure everyone had a role, says Michelle. When we started, a lot of people didn't love that girls were playing, but he was such a strong advocate, we always felt respected by him. I loved playing for him. While Charlie became a legendary coach, his athletes knew he was a teacher at heart and that being a successful student and athlete were very important to him. No one loves competition more than Charlie, but winning was never the only measure of success. Charlie was always pushing his students and athletes to be better men and women, says Peter Biskins, former Apple Valley athletic director. It's people, not programs that really matter, and Chuck lives that.